Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of five things that you need to know about a forage species to help you catch more bass. Uh, I'm a firm believer that if you understand fish behavior and fish movements of not just bass, but all of the other fish in the ecosystem, that that will help you catch more fish. Uh, you know, I've, I'm very interested in this topic. You know, I love to bass fish, but I love just water ecosystems as a whole. I'm a, my background, as a lot of you know, was in the financial world. But before getting into the financial world, I spent two and a half years in college in the freshwater marine biology uh, courses. I had subsequently switched over to a finance background, but uh, I truly do enjoy the whole marine biology sector. So in doing these, you know, I, I'm not going to sit here and say that I am a marine biologist by any means, but I do feel like I've got a lot of education in this field. So today I want to talk about round gobies. Round gobies may be, they may be like one of my favorite fish, uh, if not the number one fish. And a lot of that has to do with just how cool of a species that they are in themselves. And more importantly, the fact that they really help grow very large smallmouth bass, which uh, are also one of my favorite species. So uh, if you understand the round goby, it helps you catch more fish. And there's not a ton of information out there on gobies. They definitely are a new species to our country. They are considered, you know, a invasive species. So the country is trying to get rid of them. And at this point, I don't know that we can get rid of them. You can probably limit the spread, but they slowly are spreading and getting into other lakes. And, you know, it's just a matter of time, in my opinion, before we see them scattered around either through their own nature or the help of uh, humans or wildlife that will help spread them to other bodies of water. Uh, whether you like that or don't, it's probably going to happen. So, how do we use round gobies and our knowledge of round gobies to help us catch more bass? So, I've got five things that I think you need to know that will help you. And the first, and probably the most important, is that they do not have an air bladder and they're uh, they're not, they're not buoyant. They are negatively buoyant fish, which means they sink. You know, if, if you took a goby and threw it in the water, it would sink to the bottom. And that's good information to know because the fact that they don't have an air bladder and they're negatively buoyant means that they live on the bottom of the lake. Uh, that could be in two feet of water. It could be in 60 feet of water. They truly do live throughout the, the, the entire ecosystem of a lake assuming they have what they need to survive. And because of the fact that they live on the bottom, that means guys, that if you are fishing species that are feeding on, on goby, you need to be fishing tight to the bottom. So that's the number one thing. And that's probably the most important thing to know about round gobies. A lot of the other characteristics and things I'm gonna talk about kind of play off of that. So the second item is if you look at their uh, their pelvic fins, it's, it's formed in a suction cup circle. It's the only fish I believe in, in our country that has this, or at least that's found in the Great Lakes. And that, that fin is literally meant to create like a suction cup so that it can hold on the bottom in places it's at. Now keep in mind, if it's, if it's negatively buoyant and doesn't have an air bladder, it's it, the fish isn't necessarily is able to suspend like a lot of other fishes. So that suction cup fin really helps them keep in place. And again, for us to catch more fish, what that means is they are tight to the bottom, not only like just tight on the bottom. I mean, literally like stuck to the bottom. So you need to know that, you know, a lot of times I feel like that means uh, it's good to keep your bait in place for a little bit longer than normally you would. Uh, you know, if you're using a moving bait, you may want to slow down and use a bait that's really slowly being dragged across the rocks. My third item, again, plays off of that a little bit. It has to do with their movement. Because they're, they're, uh, they don't have an air bladder and they're using that, that pelvic fin to hold them, 
they don't move like a normal fish. They move much more closely resembling a crawfish or a crawdad for those of you who are down south. Uh, they really scoot. Like they, they scoot much more like a, a crayfish. So because of that, when you're working your baits, it's much better to use, you know, short hops versus a straight moving bait if you're trying to mimic round gobies. That's one thing that I don't think people realize enough. If you're if you're working a bottom bait and there's gobies present, you want to work it like you would a jig because you're trying to resemble the movement that you get with a crayfish. So that's a good thing to know. Okay, so that takes us to our fourth thing. Where do you go where do you find gobies in an ecosystem? Well, again, similar to trying to locate bass, you want to know where their forage is. So gobies primarily eat uh, a couple of things. Number one, they eat zebra mussels. They love to eat zebra mussels to the point where they really have gotten a lot of the zebra mussel populations under control, which, you know, is, is a good thing for a lot of lakes who are trying to get rid of zebra mussels. Um, you know, and zebra mussels live primarily on hard objects. So dock posts, rocks, uh, you know, any sort of metal object in the water, clamshells, any hard object is what zebra mussels will take hold on. And because of that, the gobies will be found around hard objects, which, you know, a lot of people are like, well, if I'm fishing smallmouth bass, I'm looking for rock. Well, that isn't just because smallmouth bass like rock. It's because their forage species live around rock, whether that's gobies or crayfish. You know, the, the smallmouth are there for that reason. So you need to know that gobies like to eat zebra mussels. Uh, they also eat a lot of like fish eggs and small fry and things like that. They're a very uh, ferocious little creature. They really are. Uh, but you know, when you're thinking about eating fish eggs and fry, a lot of that is mostly in the spring months. So the rest of the time, the fish are gonna be around hard objects where the zebra mussels live. So that's the fourth item. The last item has to do with their ability to feed. And like I said, they're very ferocious little creatures and they've got extremely developed sensory uh, systems. And one of those is their ability to detect water movement. And you go, okay, well, what's so special about that? Well, I can't get into the details. I don't fully understand it, but I know through studies, they have been found to have extre extremely well adept uh, water movement sensory systems and because of that they are extremely good at night feeding they can they they feed better than pretty much any other species during complete dark conditions and because of that they're really active at night so if they're active at night that's one of the reasons it's not a bad idea to think about uh, chasing smallmouth or other creatures that are feeding on goby at night because if the goby are active the species that are feeding on them are active and believe me gobies are not just a a source of food for smallmouth they are eaten by pretty much everything that eats uh, you know minnows or other fish in the ecosystem they are very easy uh prey for a lot of different species so it's not just bass that we're relating this to even though it is a video to, to help catch more bass, but it really, this comes down to information for all species. So I hope this was helpful, guys. They really are a, a creature that is spreading throughout the country and really helping to grow some very large fish. But if you understand the goby, you can understand how to catch the prey uh, that, or catch the species that prey on gobies. So if you enjoyed the video, guys, hit the like button share it on your social media pages subscribe to the to the channel if you haven't done so already we got new tips and tricks that come out on a daily basis thanks for watching